Here at 2000 Simcoe Street North in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada, lies Durham College in UOIT. On the campuses of this school is Riot Radio, a place where students turn dreams into reality. My name is Laura Fair. I'm from Etobicoke, Ontario. So from volunteering, I experienced all the problems with the former riot. From that experience, I was able to say, here's what's wrong with the station. Here's how we can fix it. And like day one of my interview, I was just like, I have all these ideas. I'm ready. Give me all the things. And they were like, OK. So Riot Radio was conceived by Music Business Management, a program here at Durham College. And then the Student Association, they took it over so that it could be open for all students on campus, not just music students. So originally Riot Radio was in the marketplace in a small, small closet. It wasn't really regulated by anyone, it was just whoever wanted to have a show could host. Before Riot Radio, that office was a library at one point. It was the mobile computing office. Um, it's been almost tons of things. Uh, Riot Radio originally started out in the marketplace cafeteria around 2011. Uh, Ryra was born out of the Music Business Management Program as part of Durham College in 2004 under a different name. And then in 2011, it was renamed Riot Radio through a student contest. And it was still part of the Music Business Management Program and was all the way up till 2011 when Media Art and Design worked with the Student Association. Um, that's at the point when I was hired on and Riot Radio moved to its new location in B105 Gordon Willey as opposed to the Marketplace Cafeteria and it became a visual radio station. So the one huge thing that makes Riot different from other school radio stations is we are visual. You know, that brings in something totally new. So you can see the students on camera while they're talking about what they're talking about, which is really cool. The goal of Riot Radio is to offer students a creative outlet and volunteer opportunity that's with new media and technology. Uh, our goal uh, is to provide a service to students because uh, we are part of the Student Association. Uh, so essentially we're here to let students come in and get some experience in radio. We're here to just essentially give students an opportunity to do something that they normally wouldn't be able to do. The goal is just to get them experience, an outlet for them to be creative, to talk about whatever they want to talk about, their interests, their hobbies. When I first started at Riot Radio, I probably, I'd like to say I wasn't as outgoing. Um, I've always been a friendly person, but it's definitely changed in that aspect. Definitely changed my patience. Working with students, you get all types of personalities and you have to adapt to their personality. You can't just you know, treat everyone the same because not everyone is the same. I think a lot of the fundamental things you learn through Rye Radio are very simple things you need in uh, everyday work life. We make sure that you're on time to things, we hold you accountable if you don't come prepared. Um, you have to write and know what you're talking about in your script and you have to organize all the materials you need to go on air that day. So if you apply that to other jobs, it's basically showing up to work, ready to go to work and do everything that you need to do in that day and not coming in late, not giving us any reason why you can't do it for some reason. I never really thought that I really had an impact on students' dreams and uh, what their futures entail, but you know, when I do actually think about it, I feel pretty great that I can guide students in a way that's going to help them in the future and maybe if I see them on CTV or hear them on the radio in the future I'll be like, I remember that guy, they had a show on Riot Radio. Next 15 years, definitely I hope, I hope it's going to be a lot bigger, bigger presence on campus. I want people to think UIT or Durham, that's where Riot Radio is. It is a positive space as well. This is a positive space. We accept all people of every creed and credence. I couldn't have asked for a better place to start my career. It's just uh, you know, a very good feeling to have someone come in here who is absolutely terrified of being on camera or being on radio or whatever and then helping them get over that fear and helping their speaking and their script reading and helping them blossom into a radio presenter. You know, at the end of the day, you're changing someone else's life. As you can see, Riot Radio has come a long way. It plays a large part in turning dreams into reality. It takes the meek and quiet voice into a strong and outspoken one. It brings all the cultures of the world together through the airwaves. Hi, welcome to Riot Radio. Let's get started. Hi, 
Hi, welcome to Rock. <laughs> 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 Unless they were like, <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> and action. <laughs> oh, like say it. <laughs> okay. Hi, welcome to Riot Radio. Let's get started. <laughs> Killed my train of thought. Choo choo over the bridge. So how did you get started at Riot Radio? I applied for the job. Hi. Welcome to Riot Radio. Hi. Welcome to Riot Radio. Let's get started. I was so in the zone, too. These are my answers, Laura. You know, we have a massive fan base in Nigeria, which is weird. We were broadcasting on what looked like a potato quality iPhone. Hi, welcome to Riot Radio. Let's get started. <laughs> Every now and then I fall in love and I need you more. 